it's Martha again and today I'm going to show you how I put together my jewelries. Uh, this one is for fall so bye bye summer hello fall and I like to use uh, wooden wreaths. Um, this one's about 18 inches um, and they are so multifaceted. I could use them over and over again that's why I purchased them. Um, and then I have of course a little uh, a wire, full wire these branch like pieces, um, these long stem pieces that I use as a base, uh, and these pine cones, of course, you need those for fall. I also have um, cloth flowers, I buy those, they can be wiped off every year and reused in, in various uh, applications. And then these long pointy pieces I'll use in lieu of a bow as a feature. Um, one thing, one step I want to tip I want to give you all is that always, 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 um, I like to purchase these uh, wooden wreaths only because I can reuse them. So when winter comes around, I don't have to purchase a new wreath. I actually remove these pieces and uh, applique on or layer on my winter pieces. So I'm not spending a lot of money. Uh, most of the purchases from Michaels this time, because uh, I wanted to show you how I put together a new wreath, um, were half off. So all of the material I'm using is half off. This total project probably cost me 30 bucks and I can reuse everything. So I do love that fact. Um, I don't like to use hot glue because like I said, I reuse. So I do use a little bit of floral wire um, and I don't use a lot, just so you know. And I always make sure to buy um, pieces that uh, are attached by wire. Um, so these aren't plastic stems uh, for these appliques. They're actually wire stems uh, covered in plastic or some sort of material. Um, and you'll see why that's important later. Um, uh, my main reason is, as you can see, me laying on, layering on my greenery that I get to bend the pieces so that they fit along the curve of the wreath. Um, most of my wreaths I start off with a center at top and then I kind of uh, mesh everything out onto the sides. I leave a uh, part of the wreath exposed maybe about uh, 33%, 33 to 25%. Um, and then I just wait, work on my face, which is most of the greenery. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm installing uh, the wire pieces for the bottom layers um, to give it that fluff and that uh, that you need to have that wild piece. And use whatever tool that you can so that you don't compromise or have to glue anything down. You can just stick the stems through, pull them through. That's the beauty of wire. Um, appliques because they're easy to manipulate. Um, I do go around and uh, attach these uh, leaf-like pieces so that they don't cut out too much. I want the, them to you know spread a little bit but not too much and they need to conform uh, to the sides of the round wreath. Um, and then also you want to make sure that uh, you do keep them so that they can be attached because you're not gluing them down, but you want them to stay attached to the the wreath. Um, and like I cautioned, don't use too much wire because you want to be able to take this apart for fall or for Halloween or for, you know, whatever you want to use it for. That's what you take it down and reapply. Um, so I'll go around this wreath and attach all of my greenery and then you'll see how I stuff in um, strategically place all of the flowers and other appliques uh, to make my fall wreath. I hope you enjoy.
I really do hope you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, and I will have some new updates, new reefs, and all of that jazz for you, new DIYs. Bye!